expecting, Sleeping Beauty? <laughs> As you can see from the title of my video, basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try live like a CEO for one week. So obviously I'm not Steve Jobs. Well, obviously I'm not because I'm not dead. At least I can try sort of living like a CEO. And I actually got inspired to try this challenge because I saw BuzzFeed do it. And basically BuzzFeed people were really great and they compiled all this research from interviews. Because I have some really bad habits and I'm not exactly the most disciplined person out there. So yeah, let's try this. First thing, every night from 7 to 9 p.m. I need to wind down and do chores. Firstly, I'll show you sort of what my room looks like right now. We have my room, it's freaking messy, everywhere, clothes everywhere, bed unmade, da 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 it's horrible, and look at this pile of clothes, there's a chair under here. I need to dim the lights and turn off any overhead lights, and then I need to take a bath with bath salts or a bath bomb or essential oils and add candles. Wow, that's going to be sexy time. And there's, there's other things like um, I need to wear pajamas. Write down three to four things I want to accomplish tomorrow. Then I need to end the night by reading poetry or a book. Then I need to charge my phone outside of my room and get to bed by 9 p.m. Jump to the morning. What do I need to do? Every day I need to wake up at 4 a.m. I actually just today slept at 5 a.m. and woke up at 12 p.m. It's kind of cool to know that, you know, you'll be awake before anyone else is and you'll have all this time, but I'm the ultimate snoozer, you know? Snooze, snooze, snooze is my thing. And then there are th some things I need to accomplish in the morning. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things I need to accomplish in the morning from 4 a.m. So yeah, GG, let's start this. Go! I always said that if I became like a CEO, I would probably hire someone to clean my room or like hire someone to clean my house. I guess if people are actually like CEOs and they have time to clean their house, then maybe in the future I should just clean my own house instead of being lazy. Five minutes past seven and I'm still cleaning my room. lol so it's so funny i just realized that there's a setting but i can make my own like alarm sound <laughs> so i've decided to record my own voice and have that as my alarm so if i play you it this is what my what i will be waking up to tomorrow morning wake up joyce you've got stuff to do wake up wake up come on one two three four five so my goal with that is that hopefully I can self-motivate myself to wake up at 4am and um, hopefully by that five second count I will wake up. <laughs> Great. And then I'm going to dim this. Ooh. So my bath is ready. It's not the most appealing looking thing but <laughs> it's a bath. What I've got prepared is I've got my journal um, and so I'm going to write three to four things um, that I want to achieve tomorrow. So that's going to go in here. I'm going to write in that whilst I bathe, officially dim the lights. Oh, yeah, very sexy and I'm going to start my bath. So usually I bathe but I will watch Netflix whilst bathing with the lights on. Doing it with the lights off and with classical music is like a completely sort of different vibe. With the classical music, I didn't put it on too loud, but I could for the first time hear cicadas outside um, from my bathroom window. And that was actually amazing, like sort of being immersed into nature as such. Although there's nothing natural about a bath, <laughs> unless you're at a hot spring. But anyways, um, it's about now 8.30 um, and I'm going to read a book. Okay. Let 
So it's just about nearly nine o'clock. Eight fifty-seven. Good night. See you at four a.m. Good morning. It is four seventeen a.m. I pressed the snooze button once. Oh. I think I might have some coffee or something. There's no coffee in my house. <laughs> and there's no coffee shop open at this time. Cry. <laughs> it's 4.30 now. <laughs> I've literally spent 15 minutes on my phone in the morning. I'm going to get off my phone, but it's so funny because I'm responding to people who are still awake right now. They're still awake. It's 4 30 a.m. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna make my bed. It's now 6 a.m. I just saw this really cute um, post on Facebook and it's all about puppy yoga. Now I don't have a puppy, but I think I might do some yoga. The next thing that I need to do is think of three to four things that I'm grateful for. So I'm going to write it in my book. ready to head out now um, I've chosen my outfit so one of the rules is that I have to wear something similar every day so as but because I hate wearing the same thing every day I've chosen to wear just white and black um, with whatever so this is my outfit for today so I'm wearing a white cause Uniqlo shirt with black pants but instead I've chosen to wear it with some brown booties from Buffalo a jacket from one teaspoon I've chosen to accessorize with um, this necklace and also in my Kate Spade watch hey guys it's um, officially 8 26 I just got back home because my class actually finishes at 8 p.m. so I'm kind of pressed for time because I haven't had my two hours to you know like do my routine um, what I'm hoping to do now is because my room is actually really clean what I'm going to do now is for 20 minutes I'm going to get ready for bed so take a bath wear PJs and then write down three to four things I want to accomplish tomorrow and then I'm gonna probably spend about 10 minutes reading a book and then I'm probably gonna go to bed um, straight up after so yeah Good evening everyone. I It's about 7.45 now and I have already begun my evening routine. So I have actually just wiped down all my shelves and my table for dust and oh my god it was so gross. Tomorrow morning is going to be very interesting so I'm actually going to an early morning rave. What that is is all these people who wake up before 6.30, they get there at 6.30, they rave for two hours with no alcohol but there's a lot of coffee and a lot of fruit and a lot of like kombucha and it's real health oriented. Basically I'm going with one of my co-workers and so yeah, we're gonna go over there, have a good time. We always say that we're gonna go, but we never go because we can never wake up on time. So finally, my body is used to waking up at 4 a.m. So I can't go. Good evening and see you tomorrow. Wake up, Joyce. You've got stuff to do. Wake up. <laughs> everyone it is currently 7 18 and I'm about to have dinner there is a bit of a crisis um, because I actually have a test tomorrow and the test is at 3 p.m. but I haven't studied at 
all, I have a bit of an issue because I have seven, 18, I need to like, I need to clean, I need to have a bath and I need to go to bed by nine. So a bit of a crisis because I don't know, really know what to do. Um, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna study for an hour. I'll probably clean a little bit and then have a quick bath and then go to bed. And then tomorrow morning I'll wake up at four and study again. Good plan. So this is the outfit today. Um, just like a nice white shirt with pants and then slip on little loafers cute and very minimalistic cuz seems so yeah oh hopefully my test goes well good afternoon everyone so it's the week after um since i have done the ceo challenge and reflecting back i just realized that i didn't do an outro which is why i'm filming a video today you'll notice that i didn't actually film anything on friday and that's because nothing really happened it wasn't that interesting which is why i just decided to leave the day out of the video just thinking back on it i reckon the ceo challenge was quite difficult um like waking up at four and sleeping at nine is quite irregular and doesn't really fit with my schedule so definitely in the future I'd probably alter it to um, suit my schedule a little bit more um, it was sort of weird because I felt like I had my life in order just because I was waking up and sleeping at a regular time um, but definitely like things like taking a bath every day isn't something that I would do just because I do feel it is a bit of a waste of water but other than that I think it was a really good experience but anyways, that's the end of the CEO challenge. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is what people say on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, and yeah, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!